Hey guys, Jason Walmart here, and what I want to do in this video is dispel this idea that your clients care about the content that you're creating. They don't. Let me come back to why I think that's the case, but really what I want to focus on in this video is this idea that you don't need to be spinning your wheels, creating endless amounts of content to post on social media for your clients. They don't care about it. What your clients care about are results. At the end of the day, when you are running your own agency, you don't care about the number of impressions that you're getting or the number of clicks that you're getting. At the end of the day, what matters most to you and your business is your revenue, right? You have to have money to either pay yourself, pay your employees, pay your bills. It's the same thing for a business owner. What they want are results and that's what they will pay for. The reason why I'm saying all this is because, you know, I got into this internet marketing game five plus years ago and I really, really struggled to kind of find my groove. The easiest space to get into in this internet marketing game is doing social media marketing for businesses. And that's not what I do anymore and that's what I would encourage you to avoid. And the reason is this, like I could spend my time, I could spend hours every day creating content, putting it, posting it, and it's done. You create it, you post it, you ship it, whatever you're doing, you put it out there and it's done. And oftentimes there's crickets, right? At the end of the day, does the business owner care about the number of posts that you put out? No, they don't. Would a business owner rather you put out 10 posts or one post and that leads to 10 sales? In this video, what I kind of want to dispel is this idea of no, your clients don't care about the number, the quantity of content that you're putting out. They care about the quality and more importantly, the quality of results. Once I kind of figured out like, oh, businesses don't care about the content that I'm putting out. What they want are sales, right? They want results. That led me down a path of, well, how do I get results quickly for folks, right? How do I get a results predictably? How can I track those results? And what it all kind of shifted to was, yes, it is on social media, but it's not putting out posts. It's putting out ads on social media. And yes, you can convert boosted posts and turn those into ads. And there's actually a couple good hacks around that that I won't get into at this time. But yes, what you're going to do if you really want to shift your perspective on this, increase your revenue, increase the amount of value that you can provide for clients is getting out of just the social media marketing game and then getting into running ads. Because the beauty about ads are simply this, they're trackable, they're predictable, and they're scaled. You can't scale your time creating content for a business owner, right? But you can scale the results. You can scale the results of winning ads because you can follow a click all the way through to a customer. You can know your conversion, you can know your cost per conversion, you can know your cost per click, you can know your cost per lead, you can know all of these metrics if you set up UTM tracking and conversions, all of the things that they teach and preach all day long at Hacktics. Once you know how to do this, you can start finding the ads that are actually generating results for your clients. And then all of a sudden your brain goes to, how can I make this engine burn with less fuel is kind of one perspective to take on this. How can I scale the results? How can I track more? How can I go out and find more of these clients? You see, once you understand the difference of just posting for the sake of posting and posting for the sake of results and building machines based for results, it changes your perspective on all of this and it allows you to like remove yourself from this idea of I just need to create content and put it out and what's my post and all of these things right and it shifts your focus to results based marketing or results based digital marketing that's why I kind of like the term growth marketing agency it kind of differentiates you between just the typical social media marketing agency now I don't want to knock people who are in social media marketing or anything like that yes it's required it's necessary you need to be able to do that but if you are a business owner like me and you want to provide more value if you want to make more money if you want to create more results for your clients, then you have to go to something that's trackable, predictable, and scalable. Because once you learn how to do this for one client, beautiful part about running ads is you can put them on autopilot eventually. Like, no, you can't set it and forget it. You need to continually monitor them, but you're not going to wake up and create all of this other content, right? You're going to wake up. You're going to check your ads. You can say, okay, this audience is converting a little bit better. Let's tweak the spend here. Let's look at this ad. This ad might need to be tweaked, but then you're done. I mean, you're literally talking about hours to minutes here and where these minutes being spent are actually getting huge results for your clients and that's huge and so once these results are coming in on autopilot then you can shift your attention to another client to another client to another client to another client and all of a sudden you can have a really good business by charging people a lot more money over here I don't know what you can charge somebody for social media management over here if I'm bringing somebody results I started off charging something like two thousand dollars my highest client has paid me 6750 a month for doing these results for them because I'm solving expensive problems for them I don't know how many of you would like to get a check for 6750 every single month or an automatic bank deposit. I shouldn't say check, but it's changed my life. It's changed my life from going through here and really trudging through all this content creation to going out and giving results and they love you for it, right? They're not knocking on my door saying, hey, Jason, how many hours did you work this week on our funnel, right? They're like, hey, Jason, let's keep converting a little bit higher rate. Like the pressure's a little bit higher. Honestly, it's worth it because you're bringing them a result. I'm getting paid more. They're getting way more results. They're building their revenue streams. It's just a really good win-win scenario, right? And they're not saying, 
hey Jason, we need you to create five more content pieces for us, put out all of these posts. Sometimes when you're really good at this game and delivering results, you're not even having to make any content. You can work with their marketing team or you can start to outsource that. I'm getting a little bit off topic as far as that is concerned because that's more how to you know orchestrate your business and kind of dive into the content that you need to create for your niche. But the whole idea behind this is the big difference between you're creating social media content over here for the sake of content. But on this side, you're running ads for the sake of results. And I think that's a huge difference in this internet game. All right, folks. So if you enjoyed this video, I would encourage you to hit like. I would encourage you to comment below. If you've got questions, I would love to address them there. So write them below. I'd love to engage with you there. If you found some value in this, if we're on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you're on another social media marketing platform, then I would encourage you to uh, share this with somebody who needs to hear it. If you want to learn more about tactics, if you want to learn more about how to build your own six-figure growth marketing agency, come click. I have a free training. I've got a free training. I've got a case study. I've got more content probably than you can handle at this point. But if you would like to learn more, visit the website. I would love to provide you with some free resources to help move you out of the state of creating endless content to this state where you're creating results kind of on autopilot. So there it is, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. All right. Adios, guys. Bye. Thank you.